This morning we're going to learn how to restore a backup or a dump in the case of MongoDB. So this was recently a question on the <coughs> MongoDB series and that was how do I restore a backup. Now you remember that when we execute Mongo dump, what it does is it creates metadata files and it also creates BSON files, okay? And that's important. So we're going to be looking at the BSON data. Excuse me. <clears throat> and we're not going to be looking at um, any of the, uh, the, uh, the metadata. So we're going to bypass that and look at the, the BSON data. So what we're going to do in this example is I'm going to actually restore a BSON backup from another database to our uh, SQL and 6 database here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we're connected to the SQL and 6 database. And first, let's just show collections. And we will see that we have all these different collections and we're going to go ahead and bring over a restore and we'll note that we're going to restore um, the collection mongo uh, rest underscore test to the database SQL and 6 and we're going to restore this BSON document here. You'll notice that that collection does not exist. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and call this and you'll see that of course it restores it and you'll also notice too here that it creates an index on the ID field. So that restores that and now if we were to type in show collections we will see that we have the mongo rest test and we can actually access it and say mongo rest underscore test dot find dot pretty and we will notice that we have a few um, documents from that BSON document. So that is an example of how to restore um, a BSON file from a dump. And that dump or that BSON file came from that um, backup operation in which we dumped all of the data. Okay, So that is an example of how to do that. Now of course in MongoDB there are a couple of ways to backup and restore. Uh, that's for the extent of this series is as much as I'm going to cover. If you want to look at other options, you can always look at other options. Um, Mongo definitely provides some other opportunities to do that as well, but as you see, this works perfectly.